In 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. Quite a challenge. This year, I'd like to go back, redo all of those cards, and do it in a more reasonable time frame. So we'll be doing one per week. This is the fourth card that I did last year, and that is the redo on the right side. Looks very similar, but the texture is dramatically different. We're going to use the same format, the same supplies, if you will, but create a slightly different card. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will join me as I explore different techniques and different mediums. And if you like a very eclectic style, hit that subscribe button. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. Here are some other places that you can find me along the web as well. Let's get started on the Four of Spades. So we are just starting this deck. We're at the, at the very beginning. This is our fourth card to decorate. And as always, I want to get started by scruffing it up a little bit with some sandpaper to help everything adhere to the card. I'm using my glue and water mixture or the homemade Mod Podge. The link to that recipe is in the description. And gluing some old book pages just to give it a bit of texture. So I'm going to pile those up a bit on the bottom. Just layering book page on top of book page. And this is a very old book that I found at a thrift shop. And it... Um, you know, is is so aged, the pages are almost falling apart. And about the only thing I can do with it is use it in this in this way to decoupage it. And now that we have that completed, we'll let that dry a bit and come back with that pattern paper. And I want to add that line down the side. That's kind of my thought process here. Let's get that line on there. So I will position that and glue it down. <clears throat> I'm going to hit it with my heat gun to, to dry it a bit faster. And I want to use that number six as well. So we'll come right back on top of what we just did with that number six. And glue that down. I want to let that dry and then trim the excess off around the outside edges. And there is our our foundation for this card. Now I want to use this stencil of the sun and I want to do it with texture paste. So I'm going to pull my texture paste out and I sh shut my camera off. I don't know why, but I took black acrylic paint and mixed it with the texture paste and then pulled that texture paste through that stencil to create that sun. So you can see here the black texture paste and that stencil. I just pulled that black texture paste through to put the sun here on the side. Now I'm going back around and just um, darkening the edges with the black stays on ink. And I have a piece of black embroidery thread that I'm pulling the strands apart. I believe it's a six strand embroidery thread. So I'm just pulling all of those strands apart to make Narrow, narrower, <laughs> is that a word? Threads, thinner threads, how about that? And now I'm searching through my little gear buttons and gears and trying to decide which size I want. I think I like the smaller size. So very similar looking cards, but slightly different. More texture on this year's version, a little cleaner look not quite as cluttered. I'm going to add some of this cheesecloth to help that thread pop at the top. So we'll lay down the cheesecloth. Make sure we fray that cheesecloth up nice <coughs> to give it that more distressed look. Put the threads on top of the cheesecloth. 
and then glue our little gear on top of that. I'm just gluing some lines on the back of this with just a, a piece of, of uh, note paper that is lined. I'll ink around the outside edge and bring in that vintage photo and kind of distress it up a bit just to make the back look kind of nice. Then we'll write on it the year and the week that we are working. So this is our full deck redo week four in 2022. And we are working on the four of spades. So that completes this card. Once again, another quick, easy video or short video. I'm trying to keep them down in time <clears throat> to make them, you know, easy to, to look through and get some ideas. These make great journaling cards. They make great note cards to tuck down inside your journal. They also could be displayed in a number of different ways. I'll be displaying mine in my studio on a vertical hanger. I'm putting a hole at the top and bottom of each card. So I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel and I shall see you in the next card, which will be the five of spades. Bye for now.